So guys, for the first step, you're gonna head over to search and type in view network connections. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you're gonna find your network adapter. You just wanna find the name of it. So my one's called Intel R Pro. You're gonna take note of your network adapter name. And then you're gonna head over to search again and type in device manager. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you're gonna expand network adapters. And then you're gonna find that exact same network adapter. So my one's called Intel R Pro, here it is right here. You're gonna right click on it and then click on update driver and then click on search automatically for drivers. Make sure they have the best drivers for the device installed. And now for the second step, you're gonna head over to search again and type in view network connections. Click on it. You wanna find that same network adapter again. You wanna double click on it and then click on properties and then click on internet protocol version four. Double click on this. And now you're gonna select, use the following DNS server address. You're gonna make the first line 8888 and you're gonna make the second line 8844 and then click on okay. And now for the last step, you're gonna head over to search and type in CMD. Then you're going to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. And then once you're on this, you're gonna type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS. Click on enter. And then you're gonna type in netsh space winsock space reset and click on enter again. Now you just wanna restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.